Good morning, YouTube. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about something very important in the fishing world. So if you have a, uh, a boat with a transducer on it, any kind of graph, you need to level that graph. If you don't and you just eyeball it, you're not going to great, get a great picture. A lot of people have asked me how I get a, such a good picture on my, my side scan. Well, the simple fact of the matter is I level the transducer. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to unlevel that transducer and we're going to get it off, uh, just off kilter there. And we launch the boat. We're going to go out there and try to get a picture of what it looks like. You'll find some structure. And then at that point, I'll start leveling the thing. And that's how you level your boat. I'll show you all this stuff, but a couple things that you need to have in your hand before you do this, before you get in a boat is a torpedo level. And you just need a level, the torpedo level works better. And I'll show you why. You need a handful of change, nickels, dimes, quarters, pennies. And the reason is because they're all different sizes. You'll be able to stack things underneath this to, uh, to get a perfect level. And uh, you need a flat surface. So right back here behind me, the, the boat ramp, that's a pretty flat surface, and that's what I'm gonna use. So once I pull the boat out of the water, we'll put it in here. So guys, y'all stay tuned. Let's see how we do this. Um, you may see me in different clothes. Uh, I got a rainstorm coming. So we're gonna kind of do this in between the rain. Oh, one other thing you need is uh, good, good weather. As you can see behind me, the lake, it's not very windy here. And if you're rocking um, in waves, it's gonna be really, really hard to, to level that transducer. So. That's what we're doing today, so y'all stay tuned and let's get it done. I'm an American. I'm an American. And I'm a citizen of this world and of heaven. So things were meant to be together. I believe in faith and freedom. Got a country too. Hey, as always, I do a prayer uh, for each video, and I'm driving now, so I'm not going to close my eyes, but if you would, let's pray with me. Lord God, we thank you for today. We thank you for uh, loving us, Lord. We thank you for being our God, giving us choices on, uh, on how we act and what we do. Pray right now that you'll keep us safe on the lake today. Help those that are hurting today. Help them to, to, uh, to feel your power, Lord God. We love you. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, let's get to it. So guys, here's a good example of what a bad transducer is going to do. Now, actually, that's a pretty good arch there, uh, but you can see right here, there's not a good arch. There's not good arches here as well uh, when you're using 2D. And so once you get that fixed, you're going to have the solid arches. Um, we look over here, we see something right there. Let me mark this location uh, so I can make sure we hit it again and uh, find that. That's that's. I know where we are. That's a tree. Um, and now that I've changed the transducer down a little bit, let's go to let's go to side scan. So that's still pretty clear with a bad transducer. I say a bad transducer, a transducer that's not leveled. I'm um, still seeing some stuff in here, uh, just not a lot of fine detail, like right in there. Let me get a little closer. You see, there's something there. Can't see any detail, but I see the shadow. So let's get this thing leveled and uh, we'll carry on. Okay, so let's uh, talk about this for a minute. So I'm going about 3.4 miles an hour and that's pretty much what I do when um, I'm using side scan. And that's really what you have to do. If I go, wanna go five miles an hour, I gotta reset it for five miles an hour and I'll show you this. So you see right now where my bubble is? If I go faster, let's get a little faster. That bubble's gonna move and that's not what we want so i've got a handful of change and basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to use it right here on this line and it's very important to keep that line there let me go ahead and stack some of these down there and i'll, I'll get showing you again okay i got it stacked up here i'm using this line as my start point and you'll see why that's important after a while um, so what i've got is I've got one two three four Looks like five quarters in a dime in order to make that go centered. 
that bubble go centered. So guys, this is the very first part of getting the transducer done. So what's next is I'm gonna take this and I've got a whole bunch of change here. I'm gonna put that in one pocket and I'm gonna keep this change in another pocket. We're gonna get into, uh, uh, we're gonna pull into the trailer here and get a flat surface. I'll jack the boat up to be level with this. And at that point I can level the transducer out. So y'all stay with me and you'll see what we're doing here. All right guys, so now we're, we're up on the dock or on the, off the ramp, excuse me, on a flat surface. Um, so what I've done, let me just show you this. I put the, the thing back in here, uh, right where it was, right on my point. And you see how far the bubble is. So what I need to do is take this off the trailer now and jack it up to get that, that bubble right smack in the middle. That gives me a level boat as it is in the water. And then we can go hit the transducer. All right, I don't have chalk blocks here. I'm just raising my trailer, get it off the, uh, the hitch, and I still have the uh, chains hooked in, so hopefully it won't roll off on me. Okay, so as you see right now, I've got it leveled right there. Got my bubble in the middle. It's off the trailer. Luckily, I didn't have to put any blocks in there and got it to where I need to. So what we're gonna do now is move over to the transducer. So the next thing we're gonna do here so I already know that this is a 13, wait, well, okay, I already know that's a 13 inch, or 13 uh, millimeter, so I'm going to go ahead and loosen this one a little bit. Okay. Alright guys, so at this point, as you can see, I <clears throat> got my transducer. What I'm going to do is take the bubble, put it right down below there. Now I left this loose enough, I can move it and drop it and it's good to go. I'm going to put that right there. Lift it till I get that bubble right there in the middle. Looks a little bit high. Right there. Okay, so now it's a matter of tightening it down and then my transducer is level. All right, guys, so now we've got the transducer. Uh, I mean, just look at this. Let me just show you this. This is right here. I mean, it's only seven feet deep, but that's a much better picture than I had a while ago. Um, anyway, we're gonna go back out where we were, give it a shot. That took me about 30 minutes, um, probably a little bit less. Uh, I had a few other things that I was doing. I, got, I went pretty far out in the lake to get to one spot where I knew the trees were. And so that did take a while, but um, yeah, we're gonna head back out there. Let me just look at 2D for the fun of it. Yeah, I can't see anything, but we'll, we'll see something here in a minute and uh, get back out to deep water, find some fish and show you guys how it worked. All right guys, so look, here's, here's uh, what, what it's looking like now that it's leveled out. Uh, you're seeing a lot more detail in here, uh, in here. So what it was earlier, if you remember, we'd see an item, but it always sees a shadow. See right here, I'm seeing very, very clear tr trees. Right there, right there. So guys, once this thing is leveled, it makes it a lot easier on you fishing to see what you're doing to, to figure out where you're going. So go to, let's go to side scan, just for the fun of it. See, okay, see right there and there. Move it over so y'all can see it on the camera. Okay, there's a, a pretty good arch right there. 
kind of get back in that channel here. All right, here's the channel. So look, look at these, these fish hanging off right on the side of that thing. Very clear, very definite arches. You'll see them right here as well. So guys, if you can do your transducer, if you can get that thing leveled out, it's gonna make a world of difference for you. So hopefully this video helped out and uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks so much.